Mr. Hans? Hey, Ms. Stewart. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. This is great. Doesn't this look like a fun problem? It does look like a fun problem. <laughs> you just crossed your eyes. What does that mean? All I right. I don't know. No, it, it does look fun. Okay. So we're looking for A and B. We're assuming A and B are constants, numbers. So that the graph of this function looks like a parabola. Yes. Is tangent to the line y equals negative 2 oh. at x equals 1. All right. right. I, I'm going to draw a picture because right. pictures, even if I'm not sure exactly what to draw, they can be helpful. So let's see. I know this is happening when x is 1. The line y equals x, sorry, y equals negative 2. Ooh. Right. There's the line y equals negative 2. So at x equals 1, this quadratic is tangent to this. So that means it has to be touching it. And if it's tangent, that means it's either opening up from there or opening down from there. I don't know if A is positive or negative. I'm just going to, you know, loosely shoot a graph like that. I don't know if that's exactly what it looks like. Okay. Okay? So I need to find A and B. I have two things I need to find. So let's see. If I'm thinking about this parabola being tangent to that line, what that means, of course, is that their slopes have to be equal. So in other words, the slope of the line has to equal the slope of my function. Would you agree? I would agree. All right, Mr. Haas, what is the slope of this particular line? Well, it looks like zero to me, yeah, I would say. It yeah. is. So that means the slope of the quadratic has to be zero there, too. I would think so. So I could put zero equals zero. I think we know that to be true. That's true, but not particularly helpful. So maybe what I can do is express the slope of f of x in another way. How can I express the slope well, of f of x? you know how to find derivatives, I assume, yeah. right? So, so there yes. we go. Let's take the Looks derivatives. Looking so the good? Okay. derivative of ax squared is going to be 2ax plus bx. Now, I know those are equal at perhaps, x equals 1. Oh, yeah. X, oh, wow. Yeah. Thank oh, you, sorry. Mr. Yeah. Haas. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I know this is true at x equals 1. Obviously, the slope of the parabola is not always 0. So I need to substitute in a 1 for that x. Okay. So that looks like that makes sense. 2a plus b equals 0. Sure. All right. So I still I have two things. So I don't I need when I have two variables. Don't I usually need at least two equations to solve? That would be one? good if you get a second equation. All right. So let's find another relationship between a and b. What else do I know? Well, you do have a point there. I have a point. Right. And that point yeah. is on the line, and it's on the function, the quadratic. So the y value of the line at x equals 1 has to equal the y value of f of x at x equals 1. That makes sense, right? Absolutely. Okay, y value of the line at x equals 1 is? Well, I guess it's got to be negative 2, <laughs> right? pretty much negative 2 every place, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, it's everywhere. Right. Okay, the y value of this quadratic is negative 2, but let's find a nicer way to express that. Well, any ideas? Well, the y value is what the value you get when you plug in an x of, yeah. Yeah, so it's ax squared, so I'm going to plug in a 1, plus bx, x is 1. So I have negative 2 equals a plus b. Hey, look at this. That's your two equations. I've got a system of equations. If I zoom over here, Mr. Haas, will you be able to see me? Absolutely. So I'm going to take that system of equations. I have 2a plus b equals 0. I have a plus b equals negative 2. I could solve the system using substitution or elimination or various ways. I'm just going to subtract the top minus the bottom. Is that okay? Sure. I think they call that the elimination. We used to call it solving simultaneously back in our day. 2a minus a, a, b minus b, 0, 
0 minus negative 2 is 2. I have found one of my solutions. I can substitute that 2 back into either function. 2 plus b equals negative 2. So b is going to equal negative 4. Ah, so that means my original function, my parabola, is 2x squared minus 4x. So I did graph it somewhat appropriately. It does open. Yeah, up. it looks good. And you could very easily check this. You could take the derivative and make sure it's 0. The slope or the derivative is 0 when x is 1. You could plug in 1 and make sure you get negative 2. I think that that check would work. How do we feel, Mr. Haas? That's very good, Mr. It looks great. Thank you.